Hello guys, welcome back to AppSheet tutorial. So in this video, we're going to see about email automation based on time. So in our last video, we saw how to send the email whenever a new row is added. So it's a figure email when adding a new row. But now we're going to schedule it. So it's that event type is data change. So if you are if you want to check out the video, I have given in the top part, you can check how to send email whenever a new so it's added but now we're going to see about schedule so schedule is like it's like it will run 24 hours so based on the time which we specify it will trigger this event okay. uh, whatever the condition we are giving okay. Okay. so now condition i'm going to give so send a reminder email to that user one day before okay. so let's change the data of new automation Okay, so this is the email automation sheet I used. So I given the username, email ID, content, and reminder, which is the date. So when we're going to send the email. So let's go to the columns. And then change to date. Reminder is date. Let's see. Yeah, so on even process. Okay, so yeah, the, this is not compatible because for each point table we need to switch on. So, what is this means? So, we are going to check each and every row to, to trigger this mode. Okay, so for example, if we have five rows, it will run five times. If we have one, two rows, it will run two times. So for each row and table, that, that is what it means. So the table of this email automation and the filter condition, what we're going to do is that the remainder the minus sorry, this is a column. This is the reminder date minus today equal to one. Right. So it means uh, whatever the date, for example, I'm going to give the reminder of 25. So today is 24. So 25 hours I'm going to give it and subtracted by today. So it should be one. Okay. So the difference between the date should be one. So it's uh, one day before. Like that, then we are going to trigger this reminder email for them. Okay, so now we'll save this and uh, we should schedule daily. So then only uh, daily what to say. Maybe this eight a okay. and time zone you can give based on your locality so for me i'm going to give the indian standard time and we'll save this if you are new to this channel just check out the app sheet experience where we have covered all the important expressions and hit the subscribe and bell icon to get all the notifications of what when we are so let's Add the remainder. So we created a bot and in the UX, we will add the email schedule for a user. I'm going to schedule myself for for tomorrow's date. Okay. For example, I'm giving 25 tomorrow. We can test it out the expression before triggering the email. So I have given this condition. So make sure that to test the expression. Just test this. 
So it became expression is two, which means uh, the remainder tomorrow date and we are subtracting with today's date, which will give one. Right? So then if it is two only, then the send email will trigger. Right? So the send email is already we have done. So I just explain it's in running task in my scene. We are channel system default and to the particular email ID, which we already covered in our last video, just check it out. And so we are just using the expression to send the email based on the function username and contact. Right? User username and user contact. Okay. So now we'll test this out. Now we can just run. Now it's running, it's got trigger. Okay, so for the email, right? testing email application. Check it out. So with a given email, you can test also. So this is manual testing, but if you run, it will run by getting some we will check it out uh, in the keyboard so if the bot is not working properly when this go to the manage and monitor here you can in the audit history launch log analyzer so here you will find the all the logs of bots which you are executing is working properly or not even though you have tested the expression, you can verify once if it's not working properly in the long history. So this is a log one. So see the scheduled bot email task. Just condition true. So we just tell how to look into the log of. Mm -hmm. So we have, if you see this automation, one is trigger condition, which is true or false, and then the process sending email, right? And uh, even trigger email when adding in the process new process. So if you see here, Email task process email task right. So the condition is true and the email sent is success. So which means uh, the filter condition works fine. And the body content also you can check. Should you bought this as success? So in this way you can debug also so it's it's quick time to reflect here okay so that i press two times and so it came right so now i'm going to change uh that in the us the email reminder so i'm going to edit to day after tomorrow so that time it won't work it won't send the reminder so i just change to 26 same so automation will work automatically and the time of 8 a.m. so daily so if this condition is true only it will trigger the email so, but you can't wait till tomorrow 8 a.m. so we just test sorry we just run 
kita review dan now. Okay, we run again. If you test this expression now, it will come as false. Well, it's a deactive to mode. Okay, one. Okay, we'll check the expression. Since the time is differing of 8 a.m. and now, so it's doing as 1. Let's change to. So, why is it coming as true means? Because 26th of April 2021. Uh, it, it's calculating based on 24 hours, so it's like 1.5 is coming. So that's why that 1.5 means it's one only, right? So it's coming as well. So let's change it to 27 and um, let's set it out the automation. Okay. So it got changed to 27. This is expression now. It's minus one. I'm showing this expression. The number time is 27, and we are subtracting with today's date. The value is 1. Let's convert to date. Okay, so what we can do is we can start comparing like this. We just Reminder, less is not equal to today. So what does it mean is before day. Remainder of before day should be the today. And this will work fine. So now it shows no, right? Because reminder we have given 27. We are subtracting one day. So which is 25, which is not today. So it won't send the email. You can test it out and you can check it out. You can try it's minus 24, so it's false. Right. So now we will change directly shape of 26. Okay. Now we will test it out. 26 minus 1 is 25. Did. It's also false. Okay. Now we change to 25. Right. So it is true. So by this we have to compare the date like which is the remainder day of previous day should be today. So this expression is not fine. So sorry guys, I made a mistake in the last previous expression. So I'm using this expression the day before whenever the time was specified 8 a.m. This will trigger an email until the condition. Uh, that satisfies one hundred people. Okay. So in this way, you can schedule all the email automation based on your condition. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you have any doubt, just leave a comment. And thanks for watching. Bye.